All right, Grand Rising, everyone, welcome back to the platform. It's Shay Seeking, and I'm back with another video. <clears throat> I don't know why I was just seeing that. I can't get, oh, it's right here on top of the deck. Stagnation in reverse. Juggling something back and forth. Again, looking at something with rose colored glasses, but it's really haunted or a drab. And then Something about these people falling at a certain place. And I don't know why I kept hearing something about the, um, something about the Versace mansion, also painted black. It's almost like painted black is making me think about the book of Job, the wife or whatever that wanted you to turn, wanted you, wanted somebody to turn their back. Well, I'm seeing the sun on my die right here, on my dice. They want somebody to turn their back on God. It's almost like somebody wants you to think that God forgot about you or something. But somebody's too resonating in God energy to look at it that way. Don't walk. You should walk. Okay. Um, newspaper, bus stop in reverse. Somebody wants you to read all about it or talk all about it. Don't go to the bus stop and leave to go looking for something. It's already within you. Hold on one second. The guy that does the grass out here. The, the guy that does the grass at our house. Yes, he did. And I heard them dragging it in there. Why the grass cut? Because he didn't cut our grass. He cut the grass next door. Right here on the side. By the Japanese tree. Mm hmm. No, he didn't. He cuts his own grass. And his hand is out. Now you're acting crazy. He was here. I just seen him. He was right here cutting the tree. Cutting what tree? I just seen him cutting the tree right here in my backyard. I went out there to smoke a cigarette. I heard somebody dragging the garbage cans. And then I looked outside and I seen the trailer out there, the black trailer. And he was parked in front of our house. So I said, oh, he must be about to cut the grass. I went outside, I smoked a cigarette, and then I saw them right here working on this tree right here. The tree to the left. And he was clipping some bushes in those people's yard and everything like this. I didn't take the trash can in. Nobody else came. Maybe he did it because he need a park right there. Okay. So, I just keep getting like two prominent houses. I mean, these could be old abandoned houses that somebody is looking at with, um, y'all have to excuse my nails. Um, 
Somebody's looking at these with rose-colored glasses. Okay. This could be like abandoned homes or castles or something. Okay. But I don't know why I'm keep on hearing about... Because yesterday when I seen this, the Versace mansion flashed in my eyeball. And then I said, well, I wonder if there was something spiritual or territorial about that. About that that happened, the magician. Hmm. Hmm. Read all about it. Somebody's third eye. The star in the upright. South Carolina. Oscar the Grouch. The star. South Carolina. Read all about it. The magician. I'm seeing Oklahoma, but this look like a gun. Okay. I don't know if this is like about somebody falling to their death. Maybe somebody's saying that somebody, this, like these are fallen people. These are black people. Look, look at that thing in the window right here. Look at that. You see that thing? I mean, this could even be 9-11. Because look at the, if you look at it upside down, it look like a city burning or something. I mean, something could be attack, like aliens or something. Like, I don't know what this is. But somebody from Oklahoma, we got the sheriff badge here. Shot somebody from South Carolina. Or this, something came like this, okay? This made somebody a star. And then something about a violin. This could be why somebody tapped into your internet. Because I'm not going to say, somebody at, at one point in time I had violin on mine. I'm not going to tell you the rest of it, but. Somebody could be sitting there listening to your story. Like, like oh, you're still playing the fiddle or you're still playing that violin about what happened. But this is making somebody a star. And then we have Texas right behind her. Okay, where's there's some wet paint, okay? Also, somebody, there's proof or evidence at the garbage dump, at the city garbage dump, okay? Somebody's becoming a star by telling their story. Something about Texas or somebody could be, huh? What? Not really, I didn't do nothing. But there's evidence at the garbage dump. What is this? Now stop. Okay. Somebody thinks you're a square. Okay. Somebody thinks that you're a square. And we got Delaware in reverse. Venus. Wyoming in reverse. And sm some arty smarty energy. Um, stop. We're going to stop at stop. Okay. There's something in the newspaper. Something could be in the newspapers about something that happened. It's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. Let's get the juices flowing a little bit. Somebody was trying to keep somebody protected here in the bird's nest or at home. Like I said, somebody might be looking at your level of spending as immature. You're real, because somebody could be using your identity. Yeah, but you you don't have, I like me, I don't have any houses. In, I mean, of course I'm on my house, but I don't have any main things on my stuff. There should be no cars, nothing. I bought a car, I paid it off a long time ago and there should be nothing like that on my stuff, right? About show, okay? So about show, this could be about this cousin.
something could be evidence about this person. Somebody's name could be white or have a phenotype of these this particular person that may be um, famous, even though sometimes the famous people, that's not their real name, but um, let's see. Uh-oh, that's too early. But we got jealousy and envy. So somebody was jealous and envious about something you were about to get. And they could have did something to somebody. Unique. Something could have been on hold for a long time. And you're supposed to claim it. But this person claimed it instead of you. Yeah, you could have been this person's child. Or I could be somebody's child. That lived at one of these places. Or work at one of these places. And there's another divination person here. That could be hiding something. See how she's hiding those cards? She got this blue stuff around her and you got the sun, the child got the sun and, and blood, the child got the sun and blood around him and the lady got the la lavender, this could be somebody's lavender girl and she got blue around her or this blue aura. Somebody's 18, somebody's 70, so somebody is old, this could be the person telling you to get out or something like this, but it's actually this person that's supposed to be leaving. Like this might be a Methuselah tree, okay? Or a Rachel breed that's supposed to die while I'm being birthed or, so somebody could be refraining you from being birthed because they know that that's gonna be the death of them. And I was thinking about that. She must've did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a high priestess in reverse. Somebody was doing divination, a high priestess in reverse on a child. It don't have to be your child. It could be her baby daddy child, her man's child. Somebody, or this could be a masculine. Somebody was doing some divination on somebody's child. Distant future in the reverse so that you couldn't get this offer in the future. Okay? Even though you a mature woman or showing up as a mature woman, somebody didn't have, want you to have something. Okay? Then we have the ice king. Okay? There could be somebody that's being kind of mean or something. All right? And there could also be somebody that's mentally and emotionally unstable. Maybe they're going to get caught for something. I'm not sure. Somebody could be trying to protect somebody or something like that. Oh, I'm about to say, who the hell? Somebody could be trying to protect somebody from the truth or... I don't know what this is. Okay. Hmm? You, gonna, you about to be on the camera? Mm-hmm. Yep. Probably only for a little bit. Happy? No, mm -hmm. she was acting fine when she went in there. Mm -hmm. But they told us we can't come in the classroom, so we just had to stay by at the door. So she mm -hmm. wasn't in there. And I don't know if she turned around and was like, where's mom? Yeah. But she don't care about me. She don't care nothing about me. She, I feel bad for her because she be looking at the other kids in their face. Mm -hmm. Like close and she be trying mm -hmm. to like talk to them, but they just be looking at her like... Mm -hmm. Like they don't really understand oh, by the saying. end of the year, she'd be talking like everybody else. And they're not, they're, are they just like confused what she's saying? Or Probably. Because she was just she was just looking at the girls, and then the girls are looking at her like a little confused. But mm -hmm. I don't know. They better not be being mean to her. That one. <laughs> okay, we got this unbothered energy here. You could be being unbothered about a situation here. Or somebody could be acting like unbothered. Somebody could use this term, but in actuality, they're unstable. Somebody could be saying that you're your friend. I'm telling you, somebody could have been out to get you. I don't know what this is. like, Because I feel like there's some feminine energies that was around a masculine or something like this. And they're like, uh-uh, bitch, you're not about to be doing that. Like Whatever this is stems back from childhood. 81, these could be people that you knew in your life that went away to start new lives. They got new clothing because of some reason in the garden. And they had to leave the midst of the garden and they wanted to come back to claim their spots. Um, and they have like possibly trips, trips, tricks up their sleeve when it comes to, because I was thinking about the weapons of mass destruction. What is it about? Well, somebody could have built a hybrid race of people that would kind of come in and conquer or take over 
from those of us that were getting gifted or those of us that would be given allotments or rather, okay, there could be a group of people that's not supposed to get the mark or the Christ is not supposed to get the mark, but they are the people that get the mark could probably get it from the Christ. So, or something like this, right? And somebody was using that to their benefit. They kept you out of it and they used your ranking, okay? Um, <clears throat> and so they're making people like me not be able to buy and sell, but really, it's almost like they gave this privilege to, so I was hearing like, okay, they saying like, well, robots find a way to take over humans. Well, that's already happened, okay? Somebody thought this was a bright idea here. Um... But see, the thing is, you're not going to know that these are robots. They're scheduled to come on board or come to at some point in time after so much things that's been going on behind the scenes. So I'm wondering about that. And are these robots prejudiced? You know what I'm saying? That's what they're trying to do. Like they only want people that's bots or people that's whatever. Maybe. I don't know. These could these bots could work for God. I don't know, y'all. Okay, some of these bots could work for God, and some of these could have been leftovers from the war. Because, like I told you, this is giving me nine eleven, like tearing down the system, creating a new one. But I'm telling you, somebody was jealous. Somebody put you in the wheel, and somebody was like, "Why did you put this person in the wheel?" And somebody, or why would you give it to this person? Say, I'm a, I'm a fashion designer, and you a fan a fashion designer. We come from a family of designers. Somebody skipped over somebody that worked with them at this place and they gave it to a child like on that Versace movie. Somebody could have been jealous. This could be a lover of somebody's. I don't know. Also, oh, yeah, it's giving me. Oh, that's what I was just reading about because that's where I seen that name Tate. I think it was in the article that I was reading about um, Left Eye burning down her boyfriend's um car all this stuff happened well that's happened in like 1994 or something so there's something significant that happened to me at the age of like um nine through twelve i was see also seeing something about like the sheiks or whatever of saudi sheiks like they would have these children in America or abroad or whatever and just leave them with the mothers and wait, unless you wouldn't be on the camera. And they would leave them with these mothers or whatever and kind of deny them. Right there. Did you turn it? A little bit. Enough to vacuum this stuff up. Um, And then these people go look for them and they can't, they don't want to communicate with them or something like this. So, hmm. It made me think like that can't be high and dry. They couldn't have leave, left them high and dry. So I don't know if that's a plan to like drop off of a fleet, get them stabilized, say, oh, we're pulling our, we're pulling back from the dollar. We're breaking the 75 year tie with America, but I'm not sure. But somebody was jealous. That, they, that somebody left you something here. <clears throat> okay? They thought you was the star. Somebody seen you as the star. Okay? Somebody could have even went to Texas. Um, moved to Texas or something like this. Okay. So let's see about this stop energy. Well, let's go from this way to that way. Uh because I think stop was one of the last cards. Mm. <laughs> Look, I got a puppy. All right. South node. Yeah, somebody was thinking with a south node with this gun. Somebody could have been jealous. This could even be a jealous lover. Somebody seen somebody with somebody else. 79, 97 could be um, significant. 73. So somebody was in a south node when they was jealous here. They seen something at this place, at this mansion, at this building. It's almost like God is like doing something like about to start using somebody's words to grab people by their ankles or something like this. I'm not sure. This person could have made you not single, um, single, sexy, and successful. Somebody is not this. Okay. Somebody's thinking what they south know though. Like somebody just want to keep you for sex or something or they had you just for sex all right i don't know 
I don't know, somebody in their south know they was with somebody, they was in a commitment. It's almost like there's some kind of, mm -hmm. Maybe this is a side piece. I'm not sure. And this person shot this person. Somebody also in North Carolina could have got shot because that's where this thing is pointing at. Charlotte, somebody named Charlotte. This could be past, present, or future. And then we got Green, the Greens or Greenville. Grandfield. Okay. Somebody could be from originally from South Carolina. Abuse in reverse. Somebody could have been going to South Carolina to get out of the way of abuse. Somebody could have been abusive, chasing this person down. Um, somebody could there could have been an abusive situation. We're just talking in general, y'all. But I, I was just telling you all the things that source was flashing in my in my mind. Um, somebody didn't want to be abused. They could, this could be like some enough type shit, okay? Somebody could have said that somebody was going on a trip or something, or I don't know. They could, somebody could have been trying to get away from something here. Occupation doctor. They could have met a doctor with, with, with this going through this abuse. This could also be cyber bullying, bullying because there's like tomatoes. Like somebody could be throwing tomatoes at your work saying that you don't really have a good quality of work, but you could have got hurt here. And then we have occupation here, a doctor. Somebody could have even swooped somebody up in a situation if this is something cultural. So that somebody can stop doing something from for you or for, uh, from to you. Like uh, somebody saying, oh, well, um, I'm thinking like somebody like, oh, well, I'm in a marriage. Da, 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 da. And then somebody like, OK, well, somebody just say, oh, sign the divorce papers right now or something. And somebody sitting there seeing you be abused or something like this. And then they're like, OK, well, I got a good job or, or you're going to be homeless. You're not going to have anything. And somebody's like, well, hey, I got a job. Or the doctor could also represent somebody that is fixing something so that you're not getting ab abused anymore. So my, this could even be something tribal, tribal or cultural. Okay. I'm hearing something about banks or memory bank. Okay. So these could be memories. If you, if you, a clone of yours or something died or something like this, I don't know. You, these could be memories that you don't see. I'm not sure, but there's a love offer here. Somebody could also be this Oscar the Grouch energy could be looking. Somebody could be grouchy or cranky or like they judging you wrong because you're a free spirit. You don't, you never had any guidance. Like the people that were supposed to be around you guiding. Like I was saying right now, I just like I just got up and I said, let me go ahead and get dressed. Put me some clothes on, do my little three minute makeup, you know, just to put myself together a little bit. But I'm I know that I'm I'm in a feminine, I'm always gonna want to dress like a like a girl, but I'm in masculine energy, like where I don't want to wash dishes and cook meals no more. I've done that for like 25, 30 years straight. I've been washing dishes, cleaning up. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a different God got me in a different zone right here. I'm practicing my masculinity. But I'm still feminine and somewhat soft in a, depending on the situation. So I feel like people don't understand some people if they're different. Right? And if, you t if you're talking business to me or you're trying to entrap me or you're trying to test my manhood, my masculine hood, you know, I'm going to have to check that shit real quick if I pick it up. You see? So even though I, I, when I was a girl, I used to be, when I was a little girl, I used to, all, I used to be a tomboy too. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't letting nobody roughing me up, you know. So, but I always like girly stuff too. So, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody's misjudging you. Like maybe your nails ain't done your hair. It may be because you not, you want to you want a budget right now or something. You can't do that. It's not that you don't wish that every two weeks you can go sit in a chair and get your $300 long nails or whatever like this. It's just you not doing it. I'm not about to break myself and get no credit card and shit to try to get. No. You understand? So it's something like this. Somebody is misjudging you and somebody damn near knows why you're not because somebody knows that somebody's playing with your money or something that was supposed to come to you. P point blank period. All right. 
So somebody was looking at something in your third eye, they're not concerned. Maybe somebody's looking at you for the past couple of years, see what you've been doing, who you've been hanging out with. They see you ain't hanging with nobody. You keep to yourself. Again, now somebody want to give you a love offer or something like this. Um, somebody was concerned if they was going to see something when they went snooping around in your business. Okay. Somebody could also be trying to do this to heal something with you in the community here to get you out of poverty. Somebody wants you to forgive these people or something like this so that you could be a part of something here. But you're not going to be no rising star. And that's why I'm saying somebody really is doing this like on all sides. Say you are a Saudi prince or princess. Somebody don't want they didn't want you and things have changed now. And these feathers feel bad about this. And before they left the earth or something, they're giving gifts to these children. OK. Um, on the low, you know, some of the children that they might have looked back on and be proud of or something like this, or they took favorite, a favor to, or they knew about, right? Um, somebody is keeping you away from something like that, like times have changed. I've seen a lot of single successful looking women, um, Saudi women that are queens and things like this. They, they seem to be traveling by themselves, doing things by themselves, so on and so forth. Okay, so... You know, it just makes me think about something like that, okay? But uh, these people really just don't want to see you elevate to a, a certain level here, all right? So somebody's kicking you out, pulling you back in, kicking you. But these people can't make these decisions for me. I choose. You understand what I'm saying? You can't kick me out of the garden. I can't be moved. Y'all can be moved out the garden. I can't be moved out the garden. I move how I want to. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's not a false narrative. That's the truth. Okay, somebody could be trying to hypnotize you and then tell you, leave, yeah, leave your house or something like this. But we have a thief in reverse. Somebody is not a thief. Okay, and somebody can see that you do love yourself or you try to, you fight for yourself when you know what's going on. A lot of the stuff that's happening to some of us, we're not even aware. Okay. Somebody also could be saying, oh, somebody's stealing your um, identity, but it's really the person that's stealing your identity that they're tipping off to do something different because they were stealing your identity. They want to seem like you were stealing their identity. Get it? Something like this, okay? Yeah, this is not a divine, or you're not a divine feminist. Somebody wants to add you to a divine collective, and this this, this is not you. We talk about this new alpha breed. Don't matter if there's nothing going on, if you think that you're doing so much more than me right now. Believe me, mine is coming. I don't think that God forgot about me. Okay, so that I was thinking, I wonder if these weapons of mass destruction are the snakes, the brooding vipers or the snakes that was created that know everything about you was due to you and they've been scooping it up from you. Um, I just would think that that's a team thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you were going to be doing that for me or with me, I would think that I would be in on it because how, how would I know what you was what I'm actually getting. How do I know you're being honest when you bring this? How I know you didn't remove a property off of that 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 um a, something on a deed or you know, how do I know? Yeah, a courthouse. Um a divine feminine is in reverse. Now again, to the collective groups in the tarot community, a divine feminine is a good thing. To me, it's a separate thing. It's a separate thing. They could have been around me. They could know me. They could have energy. Somebody could have took your energy and dispersed it amongst these people, but Somebody is not that. Somebody is a higher, a highbrow breed. In this book, The Spring, it talks about, oh, is Esther highbrow? So somebody could be trying to have you have a lesser form of life right now. So it seemed like you dingy, you dirty, you don't keep up. They could be spying on you and you know it. So you might be timid like me. I try to take my showers at nighttime in a pitch black without turning on the lights because I feel like somebody's recording me. So you're really messed up when you're dealing with these type of people because these are men that like to use they like to use your sexuality or they want you to sexualize yourself for them. But then when it don't work out, because eventually nor normally nine times out of 10 is not, especially if there's no real contact. And then when you do get contact, sometimes it do not. Right. And so now you've ruined yourself. That's why I've always been taught by, I guess, God shit not to do it. But somebody, like I said, somebody can force this on you <clears throat> without your knowledge and ruin your reputation. So it's something somebody got to get a hold of their reputation right now, or you need representatives or something like this. And they'll sure use that. So if they can't find nothing, these groups of men, all they know is they got to sneak a camera in for one day, get a naked picture of you and put it amongst. And they say, oh yeah, this is a whore. Even though some of these people could have been the people that was laying in the bed with you <laughs> in secret. You see what I'm saying? So they was honoring you in the dark, but then they're going to blast you and then cut you off from society when when um after they 
secretly expose you to the rest of the world. You won't even know that this is going on. It's something against women um, being in power. I mean, so I guess you would have to learn how to move or know how to move. And I think this is easier for women. <clears throat> in your case, you could be a chocolate air baby, okay? And somebody's like, well, at least this one is like one of us or like us or grew up in Saudi or speak the language or something. And they could have gave your inheritance. You could be like one of the... Um, a, f f a son or a daughter of one of the most prominent and they know about the prophecy. So the rest of these people may not have been able to give something to their children at some time or, or take a liking to or put a, a protection. But whoever your father or this father or feather on my crown is, they did do that. Okay. They could have even not chose their own son. Okay. Um, and chose me to take over something because they knew what was going to be happening, that these prominent feminines was going to be, and, and they seen you. Like, I was hearing somebody saying something about, mm, like, basically, are you one of them? Somebody had to look at somebody to see if they were of the white crowd, not by skin color, but somebody is studying your demeanor, the things you think about, what you talk about, what you're concerned with, what are your views on the world? You know, what, what that looked like for somebody from one place and what that looked like from somebody else that from another okay but they could be of the same color right something like that so you yo your daddy is like a big daddy king right like a osama i mean like a osama bin not a oh no osama bin Laden could be like a more of a cave or underworld energy but um saddam hussein with the k Cal. Somebody's name is Cal or starts with Cal, first or last name. Somebody think you don't know something. Okay. Hold on one second. She, somebody talking she to me. Was. 